And the problem, of course, with aligning yourself with the right, uh, the political right, uh, on this topic is that uh, the people on the right tend to have their own dogmas that are, uh, in many cases, just as dangerous as the, the dogmas that, that animate jihadists. So you, know, you, ha you have real fascists in Europe, and you have uh, prophecy-minded Christians in the West, I mean, real theocrats who are waiting for the end of the world. You know, they're waiting for Jesus to come back and hurl unbelievers into a lake of fire. Now, this form of religious certainty has many liabilities. Many are, are similar to the ones uh, I've been describing in the Muslim world. They're different in important respects. I mean, most of these crazy Christians are content to just wait around, right? There's not a doctrine of jihad animating them. But to make a common cause with Christians of this sort, just because they're describing the problem of jihadism honestly, is a, is a really uncomfortable marriage. And it's, that's why it's so uh, dysfunctional to have only religious demagogues and right-wing fanatics honestly talk about this problem, because every other liberal, secular-minded person has been cowed into silence or just became starkly confused be from, based on the bullying that has come from the left, based on the, just the reflexive uh, attack, uh, uh, you know, alleging racism or bigotry against anyone who would single Islam out for anything. And uh, so that's the, the, um, the dynamic that's become so untenable. But you, you, you don't want to be aligned with people who are right for the wrong reasons. You know, it's, and it's, it's quite possible to be right for the wrong reasons. And the reason why that's not a, a good recipe for guidance is because if you're, if you're right for the wrong reasons, it, it, it's, it is, you are right by accident. You know, you are, your reasons, you, you know, what the, the way you're, you're thinking about the world isn't tracking what you want to track in order to, to have good outcomes. Uh, so, you know, the, the fact that someone is convinced that the book of Revelation describes the end of the world and it's going to happen in our lifetime, uh, and this person expects to be raptured into the stratosphere uh, with uh, Jesus, uh, the fact that that person can look at what's happening in the Middle East and with a very clear view of the problem understand that these people really believe what they say they believe. Uh, because believing in prophecy and believing in, in revelation is no surprise at all, right? Um, that person has n really nothing to offer uh, this conversation uh, by way of remedy apart from uh, just acknowledging the, what should be obvious, which is, yes, people are really devout and really motivated by the content of their religious certainties.